Урок двадцать два. Текст. Parking lot. One. Hello. I want five gallons of gas. Regular, please. Here you are. Full tank. You need any oil as well? No, I don't think I do. Maybe. Yes, put some water in the radiator, will you? Okay. Here you are. Look, one of your tires is flat. Oh no, it must have been pierced. I can check the tires and put air in them. Do please, and change the flat tire. That's okay. Do you want me to wash the car? Oh no, thank you. I just want the windshield cleaned, and that is all. How much do I owe you? Twenty-five bucks. Two. Excuse me. How much does it cost to park here for one hour? Ten twenty. That's a lot, isn't it? You can just as well leave your car outside the parking lot, and it will make much more. Safety is what you pay for. Okay, let it be ten twenty. I'm afraid I've got to have the batteries charged. Can you do it for me? Sure. Would you like to have the oil changed as well? No, the oil is all right. Ask someone to wash my car. It will make thirty dollars all in all. Fine. Дополнительное чтение. Mrs. Jones was over eighty, but she still drove her old car like a woman half her age. She loved driving very fast. And boasted of the fact that she had never, in her thirty-five years of driving, been punished for driving a fence. Then one day she nearly lost her record. A police car followed her, and the policeman in it saw her pass a red light without stopping. When Mrs. Jones came before the judge, he looked at her severely. And said that she was too old to drive a car, and that the reason why she had not stopped at the red light was most probably that her eyes had become weak with old age, so that she had simply not seen it. When the judge had finished what he was saying, Mrs. Jones opened the big handbag she was carrying, and took out her sewing. Without saying a word. She chose a needle with a very small eye, and threaded it at her first attempt. When she had successfully done this, she took the thread out of the needle again, and handed both the needle and the thread to the judge, saying, "Now it is your turn. I suppose you drive a car, and that you have no doubts about your own eyesight." The judge took the needle. And tried to thread it. After half a dozen attempts, he had still not succeeded. The case against Mrs. Jones was dismissed, and her record remained unbroken. <laughs>